Hey, good morning, and Om Shanti to all of you listeners. Welcome back to your own channel, Seek the Soul, the Truth Lies Within. And before we go ahead with today's blessing, you can go down and have a look at the link, which takes you towards all the different topics of your interest. And if you like any of those topics in the playlist, do share it with others. Now let's go ahead. What does Baba have to say in today's blessing? Let's explore that. In the 250th day of our blessing, blessing Baba says, May you be generous hearted and a great donor by being a bestower and donating at every second and in every thought. Now we generally think that only by giving money or giving any gifts to others, that's the only method of giving to others or donating to others. But God has totally changed our complete thought process about it and the whole idea about it. Let's explore that. Baba says, or Godfather says, You children of the bestower are not those who take, but those who give. Being the child of God, God has been said to be the giver of everything, doesn't want anything, doesn't need anything. God says you should become something like that, or at least close to that. Now, it doesn't mean that you get something in return as a gift and you say, I don't want this gift. No. It's not about the physical aspect, it's about the spiritual aspect because God doesn't give us anything in the physical. He gives it indirectly. He gives us values, He gives us virtues, He gives us strength and power of character, of virtues and values. And using those virtues and values, we do our karma and we attain the physical benefits. So we indirectly say it's given by God. So here too, God says, you have to become a pastor in it and a person who donates. So what does that mean? You have to give it every second and in every thought. Now, how do you keep on giving in every thought? You can't be thinking every time I have to give that money to him. I have to give so much of wealth to him. No, it's about giving thoughts, purity of thoughts, values and thoughts, quality of thoughts for others. When you become such a bestower, you will then be called a generous hearted, great donor. So, we have turned it into a physical giving, but God is talking about a spiritual giving. Thinking pure about others, having good wishes for others, thinking that that soul may have tolerance, that soul may have generosity, may that soul have kindness in their heart because they need this value and virtue to be successful in a certain venture in their life. May that soul have discipline in their life. May that soul have courage in their life. Even thinking like this is also donating. So Baba says, you automate, by being such a great donor, you automatically receive great power. Why? Because you have to create that thought, powerful thought for others, right? Then who becomes powerful indirectly? You yourself. That's what God says. However, in order to give, your treasure store has to be full. That means I have to keep on thinking those thoughts. If I don't, myself don't think pure thoughts, powerful thoughts, virtuous thoughts, that means my treasure store of purity and power and virtues is less. So how will I give it to others? How will I think about it for others? For that, I need to meditate on these thoughts. I need to meditate on these virtues and values. Then Baba says, however, in order to give your treasure store has to be full, you have taken whatever you need from whom? From God the Father. And all that now remains is for you to give to others. God is giving us those thoughts, powerful thoughts and virtues and values. And now we need to use it not just for ourselves, so as to become peaceful and powerful ourselves, but now we need to start donating to others, to give to others, to share it with others, to explain others how to use these powerful thoughts to make them more peaceful and powerful and successful. And the Baba says, so continue to give. For by giving your treasure, this is the secret, your treasure store will become even fuller. That's the secret. By giving money or by giving any physical things, it depletes for some time, right? But here, when you give virtues, when you give some powerful thoughts, when you give some powerful vibrations, powerful blessings to others, powerful ways of doing certain things in life so that they remove the obstacles in life, what happens? You have to think those powerful thoughts yourself and whose treasure store is increasing with those values and virtues and powerful thoughts, our own. So when we, when we struggle in giving to others in this area of life and spirituality, we deplete. And God says, this is an unlimited giving because there is no limit to how much you can give in this. You have to create thoughts. You have to create pure thoughts and powerful thoughts for others. 
the more you do it the more full you become and that's what god is saying so let's try from today to do this kind of activity whenever negative thought towards somebody comes let's try to give out blessings let's try to give out some value in virtue what they are lacking and not complain about them not spread the negativity around if they need tolerance if they need peace instead of the anger they have then let's pray for that peace so that we become peaceful more powerful remember that that's the secret our store of peace will increase our store of tolerance will increase when we think like this so i leave you with the spirit of vardhan if you have experienced something like this or if you want to experience something like this do join brahma kumari's university where you can learn about the practical application of this knowledge have a blessed day stay safe stay healthy om shanti Thank you.